Slade McClendon with Sunbelt Fire, and we are thrilled to be able to show you the newest purchase by the Columbus Fire and Rescue Department in Mississippi. A huge thank you goes to Chief Andrews, all of his firefighters, the mayor and city council, as well as their community. They have just invested in a state-of-the-art piece of equipment that will serve them for years to come. And on behalf of Sunbelt Fire and E1, we want to thank them for putting their continued trust in us. We're going to walk around this apparatus and show you several of the key features. This is a Quest Cab, has the roll cage protection built into it. It has a Cummins L9 450 horsepower with the EVS 3000 transmission. We're gonna go into the cab in a little bit and you will see a lot of the safety features built into this. You can tell that all of the lighting is Wayland, upper level and lower level. And you can also tell on this front bumper right here has the traditional Q2B siren. And it also has a front jump line that's plumbed for, for them to be able to put their hose load inside of there. So as we walk around here, I want to show you a few things that has really helped these firefighters as they're going to the scene here. First, I'm going to open this door. And they have made this cab as ergonomic as possible. So this has electric windows and um, door locks. And you can see the visibility of the windshield here. They've also got as much as they can for the um, firefighter or the driver to have all of the controls at their hands and fingertips. Has a lot of other features on the inside, quick access into the um, engine area to check just simple fluids. They also have the 911 seat. Just high quality, great, great product here with the smart docking for the SCBAs. You can see some um, other little features here where they're having all of their stream lights that are mounted on the inside. And you can also see some of the roll cage protection. Up underneath this um, shell here is nothing different than NASCAR, just providing the strongest build cab out there. So you can see the seats um, have the high rise up right now, and this also has the Vista roof here. So as we come into the pump area, that this is a Waterus 1250 pump, has a 780 gallon tank. This is a rescue style body. The E1 bodies are no different than the cabs. They're built with the rescue protection as well, or the roll cage structure in there. This is quite the apparatus in here. It's a top mount pump panel. Then we're gonna see some of the hose loads in the back. It has 600 feet for one lay of two and a half inch. And then it also has, I think over 1500 feet for four inch. Pretty dynamic there. You can also see the speed lays right here. They have three speed lays right here. This is tie strap as we're about to deliver it here, but this will drop down easy access. Has compartmentation. Up underneath here, loads of compartmentation in here to be able to take equipment. So whether you wanted a side mount or a top mount, lots of configurations out there, but this is a great setup here. You can see E1's have always been known for quick access into the pump and um, housing area. So whether it's here or on the inside, as well as on the other side. This, this apparatus is outfitted with a lot of TFT, from the ball and tape valves to the Ys, to a crossfire deck gun, as well as a portable blitz fire that we'll show over here. All of the steps are the newest design, have LED lighting right here, so when this flashes out at nighttime, pretty impressive for what they have. The compartmentation, before we open up the doors, this is a 42 56 56. So it's 42 inches wide, 56 inches wide on both of those compartments, likewise on the other side. Enormous amount of room out here, lots of options. You will also see where we house the SCBA bottles right here. You're seeing three um, spare bottles right here. And then you're also gonna see one here on the other side. You'll see where it's a complete five. They have the aluminum wheels on this one and the Michelin tire. Lots of storage right here. Has a 500 pound slide master, you know, drop out and drop down. Has some of the equipment already mounted. More is gonna be shipped. This, ship, this is adjustable shelving here as the inverter system right now. This 
showing you another huge amount of room for whatever they're going to want to store in there. You're going to see a lot of boxes that, again, is being shipped um, separately for right now. This has the adjustable shelf here. This also has a pull-out tool board. So on both sides, for whether it's going to be pry, pry bars, axes, or what have you, really, really cool. Firefighters just dig this, having quick access into it. So we're going to take a quick snapshot in the back side. Again, lighting is awesome right now. You can also see this has a boost reel, has another slide master um, adjustable right there, drop out, has the safety vision rear backup camera. And you can also see the discharges up here, it has two at the top here. This has the aluminum hose bed covers. It also has storage units up, up top that also has covers. They have really outfitted this truck in an amazing way to be able to take as much equipment as they can to the scene. You can also see here where they're going to have their complete ladder package complement from a 10 foot 14, 24 pipe poles and a backboard storage area right here. So that's off to them for how they've laid all of that out. We're going to come now to the officer side and you can see right now everything for what they have on this compartmentation. They have this pull out tray right here with their fan. And then I was talking earlier about the five bottles that they could be putting into there. And then just showing you some more compartmentation right here. They have uh, steps to be able to go up to the top here. And then showing you the pump panel side access into here. Showing you the why there. Again, TFT does a phenomenal job just being experts on the ground to be able to help with water flow needs. Showing you access into the speed lay area as well. We're going to take you up top now to show you the top part. Showing you the top down view of the hose bed storage area. Really done a cool job there and how they've laid that out. Lots of great lighting here on the corners on all sides showing you that crossfire right now. And then just showing you the pump panel area. Color coded with their valves all here. Showing you the tank level gauge. Showing you their pressure governor. That's a cool feature there. Being able to put that down. And then this is the area right here that if they did need to put something on here. All of the E1 cabs have the tread plate on top. And you could literally put your whole fire department up on top of this thing. They are rock solid built. Here I want to show you another quick compartmentation. This is showing you where they're actually putting their blitz fire inside here. They've got that mounted in here. Dust, dust having everything ready to go fight, fight a fire or even having access for medical calls. Now we're gonna take a quick snapshot into the, to the officer side here to just showing you cool things where they can actually put stuff up underneath the seat. Maybe it's just personal stuff. I don't know what have you there. Pretty cool stuff how they've got that fitted out. Really dig how E1 has done this on the steps for getting in. They just listened to the firefighters for years trying to find out what's the best way for you guys to be able to hop in and be able to get in quickly. Showing you some compartmentation here. And I'm gonna take, take in for a quick snapshot for the cab area. Again, very open. As you know, they've done a great job in making these so much quieter now with just insulation here. But just giving you a, a quick snapshot of many, many features here. One area is just getting access into the, to do just your quick daily fluid checks. Showing you the commons there. Very spacious and open. Done a great job there. And then just showing you even more of the radios, sirens, and lights. So again, just want to thank the entire Columbus Fire Department for what they've done, for allowing us to work with them on this. We know they, just like you, have, have options. And we consider it a privilege whenever we have an opportunity to come and listen to what you need. We really want to make sure we're helping you design the right solution for your fire department. So if you would like more information on this apparatus or maybe another style, maybe it's a, 
another type of pumper, commercial pumper, a ladder truck, platform, rescue, quick attack, please feel free to contact us and we would be happy to serve you and help you. So thank you for what you do every day. Check us out on Facebook and let us know how we can serve you better. Stay safe.